Okay, well, we are actually in Palmyra, Pennsylvania today. Um, I had every intention of going to Schoolhouse Antiques, uh, but today is a Tuesday and they are not open on Tuesday. So I had to come up with a plan B and I googled Goodwills in my area and it turns out there's a Goodwill in Palmyra. Who would have thought? Um, I didn't know about this Goodwills. So I've never been here before. I'm kind of excited. And here I am sitting in my car talking to you guys. Um, let's go in. Let's see what we can find to buy and flip our profit. Here we go. Well, as soon as I walked in the door, I was impressed with how large this Goodwill was. And I'm not really sure how it flew under my radar for as long as it did. But here we are. Uh, I decided to start in the front of the store here in the Christmas and the first item I noticed was this adorable polar bear. You can see it's marked LC there on the butt, but it also had a made in China sticker. So I decided to pass on that. Here is a figural candle, my newest obsession. I passed on it though. I think this may be a Sebastian miniature. I turned it over a little bit. It had some chipping on it. And this poor snowman was just ready to dive right off the shelf, but I told him he had to stay there for at least another month. You can see they had quite the Christmas selection. There were two trinket boxes. Uh, they were Homeco, $1.99 each. And what I liked about these is they were kind of the same theme. They both had this adorable mouse on top. On the other side of the shelf, more of the same Christmas. Here was a bag of ornaments and there was a cute owl in there, but the rest just really wasn't all that exciting. I'm not really sure what's going on here. I guess that's a music box. And then some Easter, why not? A little bit of Easter with your Christmas. There was some adorable Easter sitting out on the shelf, but I really wasn't in the mood to pick up any Easter. So now I'm moving more into the hard goods and you can see it is color coded. Here is a pink pitcher for $4.99. I like the design on it, but at $4.99, I just really wasn't all that sure. There was a powder box on the shelf and it was marked on the bottom. Uh, there I am checking out the marking. I recognized it, but I didn't see a whole lot of resale value in the powder box. I did like this photograph of the swan. It's like a giant swan in front of a house. Here we have a hobbyist bunny rabbit. And the eyes aren't terrible on this one. They aren't terrible. I thought that was a neat box, but it actually said not for sale. When I came back down the row, I realized, oh, wait, this box is not for sale. Here's some artwork. This has a signature on the bottom, so I was considering it. A Hallmark bank for $17.99, and for a moment, I forgot where I was. I thought, did I cross the border into Maryland? No, no, I'm definitely still in Pennsylvania. We're in Pennsylvania. We're at the Goodwill. We're in Palmyra. <laughs> $17.99 on a Hallmark bank. All right, let's keep going. Now, I've noticed these cats, and I'm determined to go and get the cats, but first, there are some fish doing yoga. So we have to look at these, of course. <laughs> There's a marking on the bottom. They're $4.99 each, and I really like the fish, but I'm not sure that I can pay $20 for the whole bunch of fish. So I finally made it to the cats before anyone else could grab them. And you can see they are priced at $6.99 each. They are marked on the bottom with the original stickers of Stone Bunny. I believe that these are yard art intended to be put out into the garden. They are made of resin. I think actually this one is nine. Yeah, this one's $9.99. They are marked there on the back by the artist who designed them. I recently had a bunny in my eBay shop and it didn't sell as well as I thought it would because they're absolutely adorable. Um, but I decided to pick up the cats and stick them there in my cart. These you can see have a China marking on the bottom and here is a green stripe restaurant wear mug and the green stripe is just very common in restaurant wear. There's a lot of different designs but I find the green stripe to be the most common that I come across. I like the pattern on this. You can see there's some crazing to indicate that it might have some age. It was only $2.99, but there were no other markings, so I wasn't quite sure who made it. And I did like the pineapples. There were two dishes. I turned them over and I was a little confused by the back. Uh, they were marked West Emery. 
believe they were they were marked West Emory, and I was confused because they're not West Elm, they're West Emory. So I had to look them up. But before I looked them up, I had to check this out. Uh, this was reminiscent of Camp Air. Now you can see I'm staring at this, and the reason I'm staring at it is because it has a community aid sticker on the bottom. This is a place that I don't shop at because I'm disgusted by their prices. But it's funny to me because it's $9.99 on the community aid sticker. And Goodwill has now matched their price. And so I'm laughing about that as I stick it back on the shelf. I wouldn't pay $9.99 at Community Aid. I won't pay $9.99 at Goodwill, unfortunately. So I finally looked up this West Emery. And Drew is calling me, so I have to check that out. And I get distracted by the dolls. <laughs> so let's check out these dolls. Um, I don't usually mess with dolls. Doll buyers are very, very particular. Um, this is something I've learned from buying and selling dolls. And every so often I, I'll say, I'm never selling dolls again because I have a bad experience. And then eventually it wears off and I go back to selling dolls. This one had a bad makeover and I really don't want to sell this one. So I put this one back on the shelf. Um, the, the other one I end up leaving in my cart because it's not that bad. So you can see here are some comps on this particular doll. It's called My Child. And they're the fabric dolls, but some of them sell for very, very good money. Granted, these ones are clothed. The one that I have in my cart is not clothed. It is, I believe it's naked. It's a naked doll. But it doesn't matter because then you can dress it however you would like. It gives you that freedom. So it's $12.99. And uh, you can see there on the face, just a little light lipstick there on the lip. Maybe some... Uh, some mascara, but it's not terrible. Not as terrible as the other one, so it gets a spot in our cart. Now these plates looked like they had some age to them. They were $3.99. When I turned them over, I realized that these were actually more contemporary than I thought. So they had a vintage looking um, design to them, quite contemporary, so I didn't really want to mess with those. Here's a souvenir box for york pennsylvania 199 this bird was interesting and i wasn't quite sure what it was made out of it was 3.99 it had this um marbled texture um but i was confused as to whether it was made from stone or it was made from like an antler i was just very confused but there was a marking on the bottom it was very hard to read because it was engraved i decided to leave it and then maybe come back to it at a later time it was still there a box of dinnerware that I really don't need <laughs> and here is a basket of strawberries somebody's arts and crafts I thought it was adorable someone had used a jar I think it was like a Florida orange juice jar and made a creature This was a bag of houses and they looked interesting so I decided to look them up and they weren't that interesting. Now this ornament appeared to have some age to it. It was $3.99. I believe it was a Nesco. You can see there on the bottom a Nesco um, designed giftware and it dated to the 90s I believe and it was still in the box so I decided that I was going to stick it in my cart and look it up and see if maybe there was a chance that it was worth money. Unfortunately, that was not the case. I was not able to find the exact ornament when I looked it up, but I found some from that same era that were still new in the box and it just really didn't cut it. So this was really fun. So this is haul. This is $6.99, which, whoa. Like I almost was like, whoa. <laughs> Actually, I, I think I did maybe say that out loud. Um, so <laughs> this was $6.99. Um, it is a lobster dish. We found a lot of haul when we were doing the hoarder house clean out. And so I was kind of familiar with it um, and recent comps. And I knew that $6.99 was maybe stretching it just a little bit. But I decided to look to see if there were maybe any other lobster dishes because a single, I didn't really feel it was worth it for $6.99. I set it back and I decided, you know what, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to see, maybe I'm wrong, but you can definitely see here. A set of two, no, a set of four. I think that top listing is actually for four, sold for $15. 
and here Goodwill is charging $6.99 for a single lobster dish. So it's really cool. It's got age. You would assume that it would be worth more money than it is, but not everything that is vintage is worth a lot of money. And that's something that you need to remember as a picker and something you have to remember as somebody who prices stuff at antique malls, at thrift stores. You just got to remember that. So this is $2.99. Um, this is a utensil holder. And we actually found one of these in the basement of the hoarder house with all of the haul, 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 no, it's haul, with all of the haul <laughs> that we found. Um, so I was not sure if this was haul or not, um, but I decided that I was going to pick it up and stick it in my basket but at the same time every time I seem to pick up utensil holders they have a crack so I'm like where is it I know it's here somewhere and sure enough um, I did I did find a crack so I set it back <laughs> um, on the bottom shelf is a box and it has a picture set in it for $9.99 and what I liked about this picture set is that it is cased so you can see the white interior the blue exterior and there are margarita glasses in there it was a nice set but I'm thinking to myself, I have, I think, three or four picture sets listed currently. On another day, I may have picked it up, but because I have an abundance at the moment listed on my eBay, I chose to pass on it. Now, this hobbyist bunny has some issues. Um, I don't know if it's the third eyelash for me right there between the eyes or if it's the eye itself that's throwing me off but I just I can't get behind this rabbit <laughs> I'm not sure what direction the hobbyist was going on this one um definitely what we call here on the channel a weirdo that's definitely weirdo and I usually pick up the weirdos I usually pick them up but this time I left him there for everyone else to appreciate now this candlestick was a buck 99 and I liked the glaze on it. I thought it was nicely done. And I was thinking that maybe I saw a matchy match somewhere else in the store. I couldn't remember. But I decided to stick it in my cart just in case as I was revisiting the aisles, I came across the matchy match. This pig was adorable. I loved the pattern on it. I thought it was super cute. But I just really wasn't sure if there was much resale value there even given the cuteness factor. These had a nice salt glaze. I suspect they were German, but they were probably part of a set. And unfortunately, we don't have the set. We just had two. Those lemons were definitely fixed to the plate, and I decided to turn it over and see what it said on the bottom. And it was a contemporary piece. Now you can see I was about to walk away, and then I paused to check this out. This reminded me of a set that I picked up, I want to say last summer, and it was a pool with a little jacuzzi. Uh, it was a chip and dip set, and that's what this reminded me of. It was kind of a, a similar play, you know, the golfer and the chip and dip set. And so I decided to stick it in my cart to see if I could get on eBay or Worth Point and try to find one similar, because that one sells for like 65 to 75 bucks, and this could be a similar situation. So stuck that in my cart. The owl was neat. It was $4.99. You can see here that it was solar powered and I'm not really sure what the solar power actually does with it, but it was solar powered. So that was neat. Here is an insulator. Um, $6.99 on the insulator. You can usually pick these up at flea markets and whatnot for just a few bucks. Um, these aqua colors are usually pretty common. Here is a beautiful lady in a dress, and I believe she's a vase. They had $9.99 on her, and she is old, and she's marked Czechoslovakia on the bottom. I loved the lion. <laughs> I knew you thought I was going to say the other one. Absolutely loved this lion. It was chalkware. It didn't have a whole lot of chipping or wear to it. Look at the bottom. It's got those groovy daisies. <laughs> and uh, it was marked 1970 on the bottom. I thought that it was just too cool and it would be a great booth piece um a lot of the times these chalkware lamps will have huge chunks out of them but this one had survived and it was in good condition and it would have been a great piece for my booth and don't ask me why i'm saying would have been we'll get there this 
unfortunately, is reverse painted. So it's painted on the inside and it may have been stored in a damp environment. And having been stored in a damp environment, you could see the paint start to peel away from the glass on the interior. This guy is just a mass produced monkey lamp and he's really, he's, he's kind of cool, but he's not cool enough. So he's kind of just contemporary. But this is going into our cart. So this was on the bottom shelf there where all the lamps were and it's frosted, uh, has kind of a satin finish. It's extremely gross and dusty. Like my hands were so nasty after handling this thing. But I would suspect it's probably 1930s, 1940s and it is a lampshade if you hadn't figured that out. So there was definitely some profit to be made on this piece and I stuck it in there with the lion in my hand I, I just watch rewatching this video and doing the voiceover I can just feel it on my hands right now like I almost have to get up and go to the bathroom and wash my hands because it was just it was nasty <laughs> it was nasty so here we are in the artwork and they actually had some pretty neat artwork here at this Goodwill um, I really don't need any more artwork I have quite a bit of artwork hanging around at the shop and I've been slowly moving it into our antique mall booth but our artwork doesn't move very quickly through the booth so I'm trying to slow down on picking up artwork but sometimes I just can't I can't say no that was a neat piece it was a velvet painting palm trees would have looked amazing in a tiki bar themed room but it would take someone else coming in and grabbing it because I wasn't going to be the facilitator there I don't need artwork now, since we are having our kitchen remodeled, I had to stop and check out this microwave because I thought to myself, you could cook an entire turkey dinner in this microwave. But once I opened the door, I realized that it's really not as big as it appears. It's actually a pretty small sized microwave. I didn't know what this was. It was very curious. It was a very curious thing. And I don't know if you guys know in the comments, maybe you can tell me. I wasn't sure if it was some sort of hardware um, but I, since I didn't know, I left it behind. I found some salt and pepper shakers and baggies on the shelves, and I wanted to get a closer look at these. There wasn't a whole lot of excitement in these baggies for $6.99. That one had some pickles with like a monogram on them. I don't know who was like, hey, let's get some monogrammed pickle salt and pepper shakers. That'll be fun. But somebody thought it was a great idea. And I'm not even really sure what was going on in that baggie. This was probably the most exciting find of the day. And the reason I was so excited about this is because Juliet has been into this art kick. You know she's always been artistic, but she has been so into drawing and, and art recently that I thought this was the best thing ever. And not only that, but during the day, Jess, who is married to Jesse, watches the kids. And she has Jojo, her daughter, who is one, and uh, Jojo also likes to draw and color. So I thought this would be the perfect thing to put in our living room for the girls to play with throughout the day. Um, so that it was, you know, 12. And Melissa and Doug's stuff, some of their stuff can be super expensive. So for only $12.99, I thought this was a great deal, great buy, and I had to have it. So I decided to drag it up to the checkout, and I would make it mine. Okay, well, we are back in the car, and our total spend was zero dollars. <laughs> our total spend was zero dollars. What happened was that I was standing in line, and there was a woman in front of me, and she had, like, two clothing items and a purse. And there was no price in the purse, so the cashier had to go back and get a price on the purse. And she was gone for, like three or four minutes and when she was gone the line was like slowly building and she comes back with the price for the purse and finishes um checking out the woman in front of me and it's my turn and I figured I'd just get it out there and I said I have two things that aren't priced and of course it was the lion lamp which was chalkware and it was this frosted shade both really heavy items. And so the cashier says, and of course they're heavy. And she wasn't upset with me. She was just like, great. You know, she was frustrated because they weren't priced. And apparently she'd been dealing with that a lot. So um, she picks up the items and she's struggling with them because they're heavy and she's trying to get them to the back. And I'm watching her struggle with these items. And I'm like, I really don't want to like ruin this woman's day. So I'm like, ma'am, 
ma'am, you know what? Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And so I'm telling her, never, never mind. I'll pass on the, like, and so I said, I'll just pass. I'll pass on it. Don't worry. She's got like this really long line at this point, And it's probably going to take her like five minutes more to get prices on these lamps. And it just really wasn't worth it to me. I mean, the only item that I was upset about leaving behind was the easel. And so when I got back to the car, I went on target.com and I ordered the easel and it was $85 brand new. And so I'll have that now. And, you know, Juliet, I'm sure will use it. And Jojo could get some use out of it. And eventually Laurel will get some use out of it. And, um, so I'm fine. I didn't need any of those items. They were cool. They would have been great for resale. Um, but I really didn't need any of them. So it's not the end of the world. I'm a little bit disappointed. But as I was sitting here in my car, Andrew actually called me because Ashton, one of his um, teeth came loose and it was still attached to his braces. So I'm sitting here in my car getting ready to film the wrap up and Andrew calls me. So I'm, I'm sitting here on the phone and I'm watching a guy walk out with this <laughs> with the stuff that I left. And I'm like, so she did get a price. <laughs> I mean, it had to get a price anyway, you know, but it was like, I would have weighed it. No, it was fine. It was fine. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm gonna head home. I think part of the problem is I haven't eaten all day. Um, and I know you guys worry about me forgetting to eat. I, I didn't eat all day and that's probably part of the problem. I'm hangry and I need to go home. Andrew's got a lasagna in the oven and um, I'm gonna go home and eat. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was like anticlimactic here at the end. No total spend no final purchase um but hey i got the easel and that's what really mattered at the end <laughs> but i will see all of you tomorrow so long i know it's nothing new but it's so good to see you